Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barner here, Power Training TV, everything power, athletic, speed related. Um, so I got a follow-up video. Basically, I posted that video of the lower body training and a lot of you guys are hitting me up and a lot, I think there's a couple comments of people wondering about the upper body, how I issued upper body. Again, this is coming straight out of the book I'm about to release, but I don't want to hold anything back for you guys that can't basically get your hands on something like this. And I want to make it easy for you to follow. I still want to help you out regardless. Um, so if you can see, it's very similar, very, very similar style of <clears throat> sequence of template of how I do my lower body training. So say, I, like I mentioned before, you might do lower body twice in one week. I do upper body typically twice, you know, I typically train my athletes four days a week, two upper body days, two lower body days. Obviously when they get towards season, we're fortunate enough to have uh, tires and, and all kinds of strongman equipment, so the, the parameters tend to change. But for a base thing for you guys to follow in your uh, LA Fitness or Gold's Gym, this is a perfect template. So let's go over it. First and foremost, I start off with a plyometric movement. This is gonna be that fast paced movement where we're really just uh, executing with pure power. This is gonna be an upper body movement, however, though. So what this is gonna look like is some kind of med ball tosses, something ballistic like that, maybe a med ball slam, maybe clapping push-ups, maybe landmine one arm presses. I really play with different, um, different apparatuses here and you guys can get creative as well. It's, it's easy to go down, you know, just all you need is floor, be able to do some kind of clapping push-ups or where you turn to the side, something of that nature. And I keep the volume really low there and really explosive. Same thing here, <clears throat> I move into the strength. Now as far as strength goes, with a lot of the athletes that I deal with and because the standard uh, has become the bench press, I do a lot of pressing type techniques, horizontal pressing type techniques. So this is gonna look like your floor press, your bench press, your, your press with chains. Um, I do, however, love on the second day doing some kind of vertical push. So whether it be a push press, a military press, uh, we have logs here, you could do jerks, split jerks, anything like that of that nature. This is where it's gonna get a little more uh, I don't want to say complicated, but I just want to bear with me. I'm going to show you the best as I can. So as you can see here, for my the two that I superset is going to be a vertical horizontal pull. Okay, so I switch off. So week or first workout here, second workout here. All right, just to break it down for you guys. So vertical pull. That's going to be your lat pull downs, your chin ups. Um, anything where you're basically pulling down, engaging the lats. Horizontal pull, that's going to be your big rows, your one arm rows, your cable rows, anything of that nature, inverted row. Then it's going to superset with a horizontal or a vertical push. Horizontal uh, push is going to be your pressing, your, your dumbbell bench pressing, your incline pressing, which is uh, I guess a little bit in between. Um, anything of that nature, push up, stuff like that. And this is gonna be your vertical push. So that's gonna be your overhead. I want dumbbells, barbells, whatever it may be, it's gonna be in this category. Week, the first workout of the week is going to be a vertical pull and a horizontal push. So I balance those two out. Second time we come back around, it's gonna be a horizontal pull, vertical push. But as I program, it depends on the strength movement. So let's say this is a heavy, bench press, right? I'm going to do a, uh, a more vertical push, overhead push, because I already did a horizontal push, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, and depending on where they are at, I will move along and say they're coming into season, this will be lowered in reps, you know, sets of uh, five, something like that. If you want to gain mass, if you want to gain muscle, all you have to do is take this right here and increase it, increase the reps from anywhere from eight to 20, depending on what you really want and how your body reacts to those kinds of rep ranges, and you can gain muscle. Especially the next one. The next one I use typically, if it's, a, if it's an athlete who doesn't need size, say like I have my swimmers, I have some baseball players that don't need size, um, basketball, 
I do some kind of shoulder tricep complex. Now the shoulder complex, it, it basically I say it's a shoulder complex, but this might be your WTYs. This might help their posture, balance out their body, do something like that. Tricep, I like this with uh, football. I like this with power, real power type athletes because, uh, especially baseball players, because uh, working basically across the elbow joint, it helps increase the, the pressing. Um, and you can also increase the rep ranges on this one as well with, to make it more hypertrophy style. And then I throw in some kind of core technique where basically I'm having them engaged. Like I said, I really like stability and I like twisting motion for the most part. I don't do a lot of crunches with my athletes. I'd rather have, you know, three, four hundred pounds on their back that works their core more than you can ever get with a crunch. But there you have it. It's simple, it's, it's to the point. I hope you guys can take this, take a screenshot of that shit or something like that. Start plugging exercises in. It's that simple. All you have to do is balance out your body and work. I hope that helps. Check it out, try it out. Chris Barnard, Power Training TV.